Hi, everybody. Um, I'm Allison, as many of you know. I grew up on a little hobby farm um, about four hours from here, um, and my home life sucked. Um, my father was verbally abusive, and my mother was never there for me. Um, so from about the age of 10, I had to become a mom to my sister and myself, and I had to basically run the house. And so I did everything within my power to um, guard my sister from my father, and then to run the house, and then to get out. Um, I got out by graduating high school in three years and running to college. Um, I ran to a college four hours away, um, and I went to college with these big, bright dreams of what college was supposed to look like. And my freshman year was nothing like those dreams. Um, it was a disaster. Um, I ran away from the angry words and the slammed doors, um, but they followed me. And so by February of my freshman year, um, I lost what my purpose was. And so when I lost what my purpose was, I didn't realize why I should still be here. And so February of my freshman year of college, I attempted suicide. Um, and if you would have asked me 18 months ago what the root of that was, I wouldn't have been able to say out loud that I struggle with depression. That I'm standing before you today, um, a Christian woman who struggles with depression day in and day out. But I've never been at a better place in my life than here, serving, trusting in God. You see, because God called me to stay. He called me to stay on earth by keeping me here. He called me to stay in the USA instead of serve abroad. He called me to stay at the college I was placed at, Eastern University. He called me to stay in Philly, where I've got such a heart for Philly that I never knew I would have before. You see, because I found my purpose in Christ, God gave me this, this dream and this heart that just hurts for those people who hurt like I've hurt. And, and I want to change that. I have this dream of this house full of kids of every age, from every ethnicity, race, and gender, just full of it, running up and down the stairs, laughing joy-free. Kids from every type of background who just don't know what a mom is. I want to be their mom. I want to be their mom and show them to the Heavenly Father because that's what God has called me to do. You see, I have a purpose, and you have a purpose. And we are here for a reason, and it is right. And whether I see that house in five years or whether I see that house in 25 years, all I have to do is to lean and to trust on God, to know that because he gave it to me, it is going to come to fruition. And I'm here, and I'm loving it. And I thank you guys for serving this week.